Break is in the air. Everywhere you look around. Don't you guys love my singing? <laughs> well, at least in my neck of the woods. You know, the plum trees are in full bloom. It is beautiful out. We had some nice soaking storms come through the past couple days. And just a gorgeous day. Beautiful blue skies. Not a single chemtrail in sight. Yeah. <clears throat> I live near an airport, guys. Trust me. If it was all contrails, all planes would do them. And it's like they wouldn't start flying in the middle of the sky. <clears throat> anyway, beautiful plums. Look at Ah, oh, I love it after a nice rain, nice cool day. Mmm. The air is so clean. Roosters growing. <laughs> and yes, we have finally, the past three winters, three years, three seasons, we have been very, very dry during the winter going into spring. But we are back to normal. We have had a wonderful normal winter with you know, the fronts bring good rain, and the plums are loving it. Look at the plums flowering. There's already little plumlets all over them. And we are going into the second week of February. So the plums are actually on track this year, nice and early. We should have beautiful, delicious plums come probably middle of April or so. They grow pretty quick once they get going. Going into April and then May. Maybe some stragglers into June. Mm. Just beautiful. And the smell. Oh, I don't know if you guys grow plum trees or not. But when they're in full bloom, and they've dropped quite a few, they've been blooming there for over a week. The leaves are already pushing out. They flower first, and then the leaves start coming out. So we've been flowering for a bit here and some of those up there are still just starting to flower. But look at, mm, they just got a wonderful, wonderful light fragrance to them. Really awesome. I'm a bit worried because there are no bees on them at all. So probably not going to be a good year for the bees. We'll see. The flies are on them. <laughs> But, uh, and right there, can you see the little plum forming? I don't know if you can see that. It's a little windy. The plums are starting to form already. Just beautiful. Mm. They look gorgeous. They smell amazing. And the promise of absolutely delicious, you know, sunset flesh, nice scarlet skin, beauty plums. Mm. I grow... I don't know, four or five, you know, peaches, plum, nectarine varieties. And I'll tell you what, none of them have the flavor like these beauty plums. Just divine. Mm, I've got other videos of, up of me eating them. There's a duck that really heavy. <laughs> and, oh, they are just so addictive. Gosh, you could sit here and just pick one after you. You could eat 20, 30, 40 plums at a time. They taste so amazing. And, like I said, this is going to be a wonderful year for the plums. They're looking really good this year. Last year, we didn't get that many because the year before, not only with, you know, with the dry, but I pruned them back some. I trimmed them up, and they did not like that one bit. <laughs> so they pretty much skipped an entire year on me when I pruned them. And this year, they're, they're finally coming back. Look at all those clusters. Beautiful. And they just smell. Oh, just super light fragrance. It's so amazing. Mm. So, there you guys go. Grow food and, you know, just enjoy it. It's beautiful. The oak trees are already leafing out, which is very early here in Central Florida. They're normally not dropping their leaves until the end of February going through March. But here we are in February and all the oak trees are pretty much leafed out already. It's pretty interesting. They're ready for the long, cool winter we had to be over. A very long winter this year. 
not not harsh very mild but very long very long but beautiful all the plums are loving it the peaches haven't woken up yet the mulberries are, are full on fruiting already I'll get some videos of those for you guys but just beautiful I love the plums the most because you actually get some smell to them and, and as much as I love mulberries I really really do enjoy the plums a little more sorry mulberries as tasty as they are the plums are just mm, a perfectly ripe plum is just, just heaven on your tongue guys so yeah grow that food and enjoy it make sure you get yourself uh, some fertile varieties though because like I pointed out unfortunately there are zero I don't even see one there are zero bees on these plums and they should be loaded with bees and I don't see a single single one that's all right these beauty plums are all set fruit all on their own but I still normally enjoy seeing the bees it's all good love you guys for that food and like I like I said multiple times just oh you know it's not just about the most nutritious and delicious food you can grow and it's not just about all those amazing tastes that you can't get if you buy it commercially it is ah uh, just about the, the peace and serenity of it you know beautiful out here i'm just out here walking the property enjoying the plum flowers and just beautiful mm, absolutely beautiful love you guys